Click, got it. Hey, right. hello everyone. Welcome to Tea Across the Miles with Lady Amy and Lady Nancy. And uh, we are <laughs> going to be trying some fancy teas from Harrods today. Yes. And, and we're going to be drinking the same ones because one time we did Harrods. <laughs> We both had separate. We had separate please. ones. Yes. Well, there's a friend of mine who lives in Florida who has recently been to England, and she sent me some lovely. I don't know who it was. <laughs> My memory isn't that bad. Of course, it was Lady Amy Mitchell. That's right. Sent me some wonderful teas from Harrods. Sent me a postcard. My lovely Fortnum and Mason bag. I should have that. I should. I should pull yeah. that up here. I was saying, but it looks good with your lily top. It was. It that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yes, it was. That's great. Well, so do you have your water? I, I do. I have my um individual little teapot, my pretty little red. I need to get like um a union oh, jack. Cute. Oh, yeah. That'd be so cute. cute. Yes. So we're gonna start um, pouring some water. Yeah. I was thinking we'll do. We're gonna do the yellow tea first, like we said. Then we can do the cinchia ginger and do orange and cinnamon last. Well, so Amy sent me just like, how many did you send me? Like 10 teas or something like that, many. And yeah, they're so, like, yeah, at least eight. I don't know. I think it was eight, something like that. Yeah. Um, and one of, so the first tree we're gonna try, our tea we're gonna try, try to get that out fast. Yeah. Um, premium yellow tea. And Amy and I have both heard of yellow tea. Um, it's a rare tea, um, and teas are typically uh, labeled um, by the color of the leaves, whether they're black, they're green, or they're white. Then there is, of course, a separate classification of oolong, um, a pu'er, things like that. Oh, but right. yellow tea, you and I have not tried, so anxious for that. The second one is the premium sencha ginger, which sounds good. Um, I have to say, too, it has a very perfumey sort of smell mm -hmm. to it. Smells very good. That's probably the sencha more than the ginger. And the third one you sent me is the premium orange and cinnamon. And mm -hmm. it smells delicious. It smells, it has a Christmassy holiday sort mm -hmm. of mold wine, mold spices kind right. of quality and it's, to it. And it's a black tea, right? The, cin the cinch is green, right? It's green, I would think That's so. what I thought. Okay, I thought cinch And yellow green. is yellow. And I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna open up my tea bag. Yeah. Before we begin, I want to see. Yeah, the, the yellow tea leaves. Yeah, you'll look at them. They're giant. They're like hard to pour into tea bags. They are. They look very green to me. Yeah. Very thank interesting. You. And what did you read about that? You had just so, read something. Yes. So that's what, uh, okay. So it's uh, increasingly rare and expensive variety of tea because the process for making yellow tea is similar to that of green but with an added step of encasing or sweltering. <laughs> this also gives the leaves a slightly yellow coloring due to the drying process. So let's see what it does. So it is, has light oxidation. One of the primary aims of making yellow tea is to remove the characteristic grassy smell of green tea. Which you so, and I would appreciate. Right, yep, yes. yeah. yeah. So that's good. Um, yeah, and I I swear at some point in my time of looking at tea stuff in the last five years <laughs> that that I saw that it was um, originally like only like I don't know royals or whatever in like China like only the high high ups had oh. yellow tea. Interesting. Okay. It apparently is an expensive process to do that one extra yeah. step. <laughs> okay, I'd be curious if. The market cost then so for example like the golden monkey that i always love to talk right. about um is a slightly more expensive cup of tea than um than some of the others where a, a normal black tea or english breakfast might be say 15 cents a cup the golden monkey is like 23 cents a cup 23 28 something like that right right yeah I'm that's a, maybe i'll look at <laughs> let's see let's see if the english tea and i mean i'm gonna go ahead and Yes, Steve. pour your water. Yeah, yeah, pour your water. Yeah, sorry, I, I just poured mine. I'm going to see if, like, on a site that I'm used to, if they have yellow tea. 
Okay. So far, my Sencha, my green tea looks more yellow in the cup than yeah. Green. So wow. Okay. So they have green tea. Uh, yeah. Right now, I'm not. They're not showing me any yellow tea. And this is English Tea Store with dot com that okay. has like right everything. Let's see. What's the other one that you like? Adagio. I do like Adagio. I wonder if and they have anything. Town teas is um. Uh, is another one, and sometimes they give good descriptions of teas. Let me see if I can find something. Bean Town. I just want to see like pricing compared. Correct. Yeah. Let's see. Teas. Yellow tea. Period. Yellow. Uh, I'm just going to type in yellow and see if it comes up. <laughs> How's your yeah. summer? uh good i don't know <laughs> like it's almost over uh, uh oh piper, i know yeah i'm like piper had uh let's see so we had like the reading class thing that we signed up for in advance of yeah. kindergarten and it was online so like one hour every saturday for six weeks was like an online zoom thing uh -huh. where she had like a class and a teacher and then there were homework assignments outside of it so that was fine. And it was, you know, good in the long run, annoying in the short run, because it was like right in the middle of the day on Saturday. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> so done like, early. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like we're just like plan have to plan the day around that. Um, but so she's done with that now. And uh, we're actually going to Kyle's this weekend because I realized this is the last well, the only weekend I have with her this summer where there isn't anything planned, like no reading class, no gymnastics before school starts. So I'm like, super. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> great. So we're going to squeeze, squeeze in a trip to Kyle's. Um, yeah. But so what about right when you have those days when there's, there's not much going on. Mm -hmm. Love that. I'm um, trying to see if I can find. I was like, it is giving right me. Then. Hunan, so Hunan Gold, which is that's, that's different. That yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, so I can get a Hunan Gold, um, and that's that's almost like a, it's very similar to Golden right. Monkey. Well, it says the large twisted. Oh, well, what's funny is like in their description they put yellow tea in parentheses, so it's like, is it not really yellow tea? The large twisted yellow tea. Interesting. Leaves. Oh, okay. a lovely golden color and a soft airy notes because oh so what is it uh okay well that's all right i wonder if i can just find it out here it's and but how is your summer going what all are you guys doing um well jose is home all the time um because <laughs> okay, he's playing that's not for time because he has um completed his uh, duties with the Navy. He's on what they call terminal leave. The mm -hmm. uh, retirement cere ceremony was beautiful. He really put so much, I, I didn't realize, he put so much thought and effort into it, made it very personal oh. for me and the kids and, oh, nice. uh, and his family. Um, and then the party we had that night um, and I gave him a toast that left a, a number of tearful eye in the play. Oh. Um, so it was, it was great. Um, right. he's at the pool right now with Jackie. It's, he has let his facial hair grow out because he can. Yeah, um, yeah. It drove, it, after about a week, it drove him nuts. So he's okay. totally shaved it off. Um, we're still, to, we're, we're in the throes of planning for Ireland. Um, decided oh, right. not to go to London because it will take an entire day away from our travels. Right. So we are now talking about possibly doing the UK, um, if not just solely London, maybe spring break with the kids. We just want oh, yeah. to um, take advantage of our friends being over there. That's, right. that's terrible. We want to take advantage of you. Um, but uh, when they're offering, we'd like to do that. Um, it's hot. It's fun. Uh, our neighbors have a couple of mountain homes that are on the Shenandoah River. So we've gone kayaking and tubing a couple of times and, oh wow, you know, for a couple of days. So it's been fun. We've had nice. a couple of day trips and things like that. That's been a lot of fun. So, um, so I'm looking, I'm looking at my teas. Yeah. 
my tea bags are out mm -hmm. and I don't know if I can hold this up. You're going to notice that each one of my cups is like complimentary to my top here. <laughs> um, anyway, nice. so here's the yellow tea and it truly is yellow in the cup. That's it. Yeah. It's like, I was getting to look at mine under, I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. And I've got pictures in my cup, like, so it's kind of messing with it, gotcha. color, but, right, yeah. right, but right. it is, yeah, it's very yellow. The um, green tea. So on the camera, it's going to look yellow as well, but by comparison, there is sort of a hint of, it's a lighter, yeah, it's a different color yellow that yeah, yeah. could almost be persuaded to be green almost. I don't know right. how else to put that. And then of course, and always ever so inviting is the color of a good right. amber black tea. I know, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm hooked, I'm addicted, what can I say? I know, I know. <laughs> That's great. Um, so let's see. So start, I think, so we're going to start with our premium royal yellow tea. Yeah. And let's see. I was just going to see if it happens to say anything special about, uh, I could probably look at their website. It's the London tea exchange .co .uk. Well, um, you said that it's it's processed in a way to remove the grassiness, and I have to say, I can smell. You can already it tell. Smell like a green tea. It so, does or it does not. It does. Okay. But it's very light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like it's not super. Yeah. Not super it's grassy. Like almost super. Yeah. It's like I'd say more earthy, mm -hmm. like dirt versus grass. Not quite farm. <laughs> right. Not. Oh yeah. Not. Yeah. Yeah. Not Actually, not farm earthy, just like clean dirt. Right, right. <laughs> not, exactly. not farm animal. No. Farm yard. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. I actually like it. Mm -hmm. There is happen. a green quality, but it's mm -hmm. not as strong as a regular, like a like a true green tea. Right. It's not as strong as a green tea. And it finishes a little different. Yeah, so I think I might have oversteeped mine a little bit. It's got a bitter on the backside, but. No, it's actually really good, Amy. I, I can see why this would be a favorite. It's good. I, I'm it seems it. like a really nice light tea. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I do like that. Of course, I've been dying for a cup of tea all afternoon, so I think you, you, you could probably give me, you know, barn animal right. and it would probably taste good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, what was it? The per, the. Oh my gosh, the puer, puer. That's right. Puer. Yeah, it's like I haven't said it in so long. I know you just said it a second ago. But it's like yeah, puer. That was the one that was like farm animal, right? Is that the one? I that think was it farm was animal? one, but that's but that Scottish the toffee caramel, yeah, caramel whatever it is. That Scottish one that I will never be without again. Thank you so much. Oh right, I right. Love that tea, and that's a puer. Oh, you're right. Uh, so it's not all of them. It isn't all of them. That one is so hmm. beautifully flavored. I right. I love that. I, I usually like just a really good strong black tea, my English breakfast, my Assam, a golden right. monkey in the morning. I usually save my flavored ones in the afternoon to try to quell my um or satisfy my sweet tooth. But yeah. um that toffee one, because there's the toffee slash coffee, there's a bit of coffee smell to it. I don't know. There's something about it that's so good going down. I'm not a coffee drinker, but Mm -hmm. anyway are you on to number two no i'm still drinking the first one it is so. good i really i actually really enjoying it mm. Mm -mm. yeah that is good and i'm using i have a a cup that says july in it it's like yeah, oh nice well, it's, what is it the royal that? albert royal albert collection. i was going to guess it being royal albert yeah. it does look i can tell by the handle and the, the the shape of it yes right so um and i just got it because i thought it was pretty i don't have any other month cups and there's no point in me having July. i just liked it but anyway i was gonna say this is probably the first time i'm ever using it in july in july <laughs> I We're use good. it year round, but I guess what? It's <laughs> the other way when you have it in November, you know, nobody will know the difference. That's right. Then only I can see July. Well, like, see. yeah, it's like, what July? See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I'm going to go on to your okay. premium sencha ginger. Yes. Now, so the premium sencha is going to be a green tea, but the ginger sound, sounded so inviting, which is why it was one that I wanted to try. 
It has. Okay, so is it on the pinwheel? We we should go find our our. our I know. Yeah, yeah, it's like where, where do you put my book? perfume yeah. quality to this when you smell it. Okay, let's tell see. me I'm wrong. Let me see. Everybody has a different olfactory. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You smell that? Mm -hmm. It's flower. Yeah, yeah. It's flowery and the ginger. Mm -hmm. It's there. There is. And, and I don't mean that as a bad thing. Did you say soapy? I did say soapy. Okay. That's what, right. When you said it, I was like, oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and there's, a, there's, a, there's a bath bomb quality to it. <laughs> oh, I do like that one too. Again, I very much. Well I think I need more sugar. <laughs> I was going to say very mild on the green tea grassiness that you yes. and I typically like and just enough ginger to make it interesting. Yes. Yeah. It's definitely not overpowered by ginger. And I think that soapiness, I, I really think that is part of the, um, is that Sencha? Is it the ginger? I don't know. Cause when you and I do the cherry rose festival, that's yes. green Sencha. Right. And that has a bit of a, not quite the soapiness, but it does have a perfumey quality to sure. it. So now let's see what it, because what is Sencha, like what makes it special? What is Sencha tea? And while she's looking that up, I'm just going to say there are very few teas that Amy and I have not tried. Um, it's getting down to slim pickings when we yeah right <laughs> send things to each other so this is a treat because these are very very different and i have a couple for you that i will send for august or september we're going to talk about <laughs> right that. i know okay. yeah yeah where can we squeeze that one in yeah yeah okay well so it is yeah Sinjin, it's a japanese green tea made from the upper leaves of the tea bush um so it has a mild grassy flavor that may taste very slightly mild. sweet yeah. yeah, it's very good. I, I like it because sometimes the ginger can put too much of a punch. It can be burning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like that at all. Yeah, you're right. There's not like, mm -hmm. it's just enough ginger for the ginger taste without yes, any, any burn. <laughs> and this would, be, this would be a nice warming afternoon winter tea because it does have that little bit of ginger in it. Mm hmm yeah, you're right. It's definitely on the back side. Yeah, it uh -huh. feels it feels warm. Yes. So Sencha tea, let's see. The tea plants, the green tea plants have been grown in direct sunlight. So it's comparing it to matcha, on the other hand, comes from the green tea plants that are covered and grown in the shade just before harvest. So I'm sorry, so it's grown in the sunlight, but the other is grown in the shade. Grown? Okay. Yeah, grown in the shade and it's covered. Yeah, so the other ones, it's like covered and grown in the shade just before harvest. Okay. So this increases the amount of chlorophyll in the leaves, giving them their bright green color. Okay. Interesting. Okay. All right. I do like it. Like I said, the grass quality is very mild. So, and, right. and so, is, so is the ginger. It's just, it's light on both, but just enough to make it a pleasant swallow. Right, well, so speaking of matcha, have you tried it? Cause I'll just say, I don't because I'm like, I don't like green tea in general yes. too. I don't like that it's a powder. Yeah. <laughs> it me. And you have to have, I call it the shaving whipping thing. It looks like, you know, you oh, get Oh, right, it, yeah, and you know, like really mix it. You have the bamboo mm -hmm. whisk for it. And um, I, I'm just not a green tea train. Uh, did say that right? Green tea drinker. You and right. I are, tend not to be, with rare exception. And right. um, I guess, does that limit you and I as, as self-proclaimed enthusiasts sure. of tea? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. Um, well, we're just enthusiasts. Enthusiasts can do whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> like, what was that grade again between a royal expert and a royal advisor and a, what did you say, like people who... Oh gosh. Um, what was it? There are different, there are different, like if somebody says, well, I'm a royal expert. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Or they're, or they're like, you know, uh, oh gosh, uh, a palace insider or whatever. Like they always right. have loose, loose terms. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, so if I take a tour of Buckingham Palace, <laughs> 
And um, and I use the restroom before right. my workout. Does that make me a palace insider? Can I start going around? Sure does. <laughs> And now, now that you point that out, I am a palace insider. I haven't been a palace insider in quite a few years, but I, <laughs> I can still claim it. <laughs> you are still a palace insider. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I started the third cup of tea. Oh, we no, were talking. Good, good, good. No, no, no. You're fine. All right. So again, oh yeah. my gosh, Amy, this makes me, this makes me want to put a Christmas tree in my I know. I was like, I feel like once the fall, like I was talking to Piper the other day about like Halloween and stuff. And it's like, it's right around the corner. Like, <laughs> and I was like, it. yeah, what's funny is I told her is like, you know, do you know what you want to be for Halloween? And she's like, no, she's like, I don't want to be a witch though. I go, you don't have to be a witch. You were a witch last year. And she's like, well, acted like she knew what to be. Cause she doesn't have a costume. I go, we get a new costume each year. You're going to be something different. She's like, oh, <laughs> I can't believe you're saying this today because Jackie's Halloween costume is on its way as we speak. Should be I love it. Today. What's she going to be? So Jackie becomes obsessed with these cartoons. And right now her favorite thing is Trolls World Tour. Oh my God, and that's awesome. I mean, completely obsessed. Um, and I, bad mom, I guess, I don't know. I, the other thing that showed up in th today were little stuffies of Poppy, Branch and Barb, and she doesn't care about Barb if you yeah. play with the movie, but she wants to be Poppy. Oh my gosh. And like I've been printing off free. I do know which one that is. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. we, I've been printing off the free coloring pages, and, and you know, mm -hmm. and, and she comes down, this is hilarious. So she comes down the other morning and she's got like pink, purple, blue right down here on her face. And I'm like, what the Sam Hill is? Right, right. <laughs> and he's like, what is that, Jackie? And she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, wait a second. Did you sleep with the picture that you colored in marker last night? Oh, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's lovely. It's on the sheets too. It's on her pillow. Oh, sure, sure. Cool. That's so, so cute. She just wanted to snuggle with them. So yeah, I'm like, yeah. All right, I got to get the stuffy. So they just showed up today. And, um, but the costume is also on its way today too. So hopefully it fits and we'll continue to fit her in October, but yes, it's sure. supposed to be poppy. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. I'm guessing the wig for it is just like crazy, right? Cause it's the pink, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, and I think it even comes with a headband with the troll ears or something. Oh like my God. Oh that. yeah. Yeah. That would it make sense. It was a really good price. It was only like $35. So oh, nice. Done. Was it Amazon or what was it? Uh, it's actually Walmart. Oh my gosh, nice. Okay. Yeah, good things at Walmart. So, all right. So, let me go back to this black tea. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, it smells as heavenly as somewhere between Thanksgiving dinner mm -hmm. and Christmas Eve. And it tastes wonderful. There is, what do we say? This um, orange and cinnamon. Yeah. So, I don't think there's clove in here because that's usually pretty strong and that's usually right. one of the only spices you get. There's a buttery quality as it finishes that I do really mm -hmm. like, but it just makes me, I try to and, really enjoy my summer, but it uh, does make right, me right. Well, and it does like, um, it is sort of light. Like it's not as, I don't know, heavy as heavy. some wintry Christmas teas. I agree. I, right? I totally it's a very agree. light, light orange. Yes. light cinnamon yeah well I feel like that with all of these I feel mm -hmm. like these are all very light and smooth um right. enough flavor to make it very pleasant but right. not overpowering like oh my gosh where's the water right right um, so, so. I, su I suppose this is the the flavor we should expect out of Herod's <laughs> it seems they should be experts seems posh enough absolutely <laughs> Absolute. they don't want anything any flavors slapping you in the face <laughs> no so are you going to ask me what I like best? I am going to ask you now mm -hmm. what you like best. I'm going back to, mm -hmm. to test. I think my answer is going to surprise you. Okay. So What's your answer? For, for aromas, it's definitely the orange cinnamon. Okay. There is the sentimentality and nostalgia right. attached to that but I'm somewhere over on one of these two teas. Okay. So it's, I never thought I would say. Hmm. I keep thinking the yellow one smells like something that it reminds, but I can't figure out what it is. I 
I don't know. I, I'm gonna. I think the premium yellow tea was probably my favorite today. Yeah. It's, I felt yeah, this even with mine being a little oversteeped. I let. Yeah, I kept yeah. kind of drinking that one <laughs> instead yeah. of moving on. As something that I would want to restock. I guess I think that's something that, that that's probably where I go about it. Right. I think the Sencha ginger is something I might want to have on an afternoon on occasion, but the yellow I can say that that might be something that I would probably order. Right, right. You know, it because it I don't know, there's something substantial about it. Mm -hmm. It's not too like there is a good quality to it. And it's not really like any other teas that it's not we have. Mm -mm. Not yeah. at all. So all right everyone go out there and get yourself some royal yellow tea. <laughs> We'll order it's it super, from Amy. Yeah, it's like it's super easy to find. That's why yeah. everybody calls it rare. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I was like, that's why I'm joking. I'm like, it's not easy to find. But it's true. <laughs> with, with Amazon and everything else out there, you could totally find it. So right, right. what is in the news of Royales? Yeah. Well, you're the one who always tells me what's up with the, <laughs> the Royales. Well, so, Wimbledon has been going on and they brought um, George and Charlotte with them. They left Louis at home. Okay. Which is probably a good idea. Yes. I did watch some video of them where they were going to visit, like, I don't know, an Air Force base or something. And, yeah. and they had all the kids and it was like a horrible rainy day. I mean, it was a normal English I saw rainy that. day. I saw that. Yeah. But I just I thought it was funny because it seemed like when certain things were happening that were noisy, like Louis just makes his classic like Louis faces he, where he's he very expressive. <laughs> he, he's hilarious. He's and such a cutie pie. Stark mm -hmm. almighty. We better watch out for that kid. That mm -hmm. I mean. But I think, yeah, but George and George is so cute now that he's yeah. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. how old is he now? Goodness, it's like eight or something. Not Let's all. See. Oh How old is Prince? I'm pulling up the Daily Mail. Let's see. George. Oh. How Kate Middleton fell victim to the rogue wrinkles on center court, the fashion faux pas that every woman dreads. Boy, oh, is that uh, is that all we have to worry about? I thought I heard, yeah. Oh, so actually Prince George uh is about to turn 10 years old on the 22nd. Yes. So Happy birthday to Prince George. That's wow. this Saturday. Um, nice. Yeah, I saw there was something, what was it, a polo match or something where like every, what I saw, everyone was making a big deal in a good way that like Kate was like enjoying champagne on the sidelines. It's like, oh, is that they right? caught her drinking champagne. Yeah, it's well, like, good for her. Hey. Right, right. It's like a glass, but it, you know, it's yeah. acting like like as she's as having it. Does, yeah, as <laughs> if they don't take a picture of it, it never happens. Exactly. Sure. Mm -hmm. sure. Um, but so, what do you have from Wimbledon? Not much. No. Um, truly, not much. Um, other than I always look to see what Kate was wearing. Um, <laughs> always, always my favorite thing. Yes. Let's see. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I tell you, who's becoming a real media darling is um sophie countess of wessex oh it's just fun to say um and, and that is edward's wife right that's edward's wife and okay. she has been granted and gifted the title of the duke of edinburgh right um, after his dad um so happy for him uh, i'm gonna pop on instagram and see if there's anything oh, that's right. that comes into my feed other than these absolutely stunning videos of switzerland that makes me want to go um yeah. well, let's see um and so do you know much do you know much about all the hubbub that there's been with harry and megan about like netflix spotify like whatever yeah yeah that uh they're getting dropped and um i heard because they're not doing enough right like they're not yes. creating enough content right right and it's okay. not drawing enough and and they're just Everybody's just calling them a couple of wankers, whiners, mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, to an extent, I do agree with that. But um, but at the same time, I, I understand, you know, I know Harry, but I think I sent you this a month or so ago. And sure. I, you know, Harry was back in court in the UK explaining how, you know, these are things that make me believe that we're all being tapped into, that that our phone conversation sure. is private. 
and I said to you, fight the good fight because it is wrong. And, and, yeah. you know, and I, I do wonder, is this going to be one of those things where it's going to be 20, 30 years from now, people are going to look back, people, sorry, the Royals are going to look back and go, wow, thanks to mm-hmm. him, or yeah. we should have, or something like that. Sure. Right. Right. Um, but, uh, I heard the most ugly comment. I'm not going to say the resource that, that, that it came from, but okay. uh, it said now that Netflix has dropped them, um, let's all stand by because it's just a matter of weeks now before the divorce papers are filed. And I just thought, and, and it was said in a, in a woohoo kind of way. And I just, I, I just think that's just, that's just so ugly. That yeah, is yeah. so ugly. It and um, so, and, yeah. And it just seems like at, at what, I don't know. I feel like that we might have talked about it some on tea time, Trevor and I, uh, because it just seemed like, uh, well, according, you know, in Trevor's eyes, it's like, well, she needs, she needs the spotlight and like Harry might be happier kind of like, fa- not fading away, but you know, not being like yeah. the center of attention all the exactly. time. Not being out. Yeah. Right. But what I find interesting is like, but it's not like she ever was always the center of attention right like she wasn't the biggest hollywood actress so i mean i feel like if they just go about their business and do all their you know philanthropic work then like just do that because i you know i feel like they got their deals with spotify and netflix which netflix by the way you got like a great docuseries out of them yes (laughs) so yes so i don't know what you're complaining about but um but I feel like I said, like after his book, right, where I'm just like, okay, great. I accept all of this. I, I support you in letting this out. Give me a new chapter of your life. Like, do not stay stuck in this yes. or whatever your next book is, whatever your next right. show is. Like, right. let's, let's move it along. Uh-huh. <laughs> we've, yeah. proce- we've processed this with you now. Yes. <laughs> so. Um. I agree with that. Um, and did I think I said this in our last tea or something like that too, though. Um, for people who are truly philanthropic, so this is this is where I find the hypocrisy in this, you know, do you need the sixty five hundred dollar pair of shoes? Do you have right. to have the labels that you have? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you and I have also early on we had the discussion about you like what you're used to. So for Harry coming from a gilded background um and environment um sure i i can understand where you know the finer things he's probably not used to it but he also doesn't seem like you know he's like a black t-shirt and khakis kind of guy Mm -hmm. too he doesn't seem like he's that fancy about anything right um but to me if you really are philanthropic about things and you're that really is where your heart is and you really are looking to raise money for then I don't know. I do question the extravagances. So, um, but I, I don't question, I pardon the ching. Um, sure. I don't question the, uh, the desire for uh, the security because you and I yeah. have talked about that before because of, of what they have been made aware of uh, the right. threats against the family and what he has come from and terrified that something like that's going to happen to his own family. So, right. yeah, they definitely, yeah. The security, I feel like if, if the public media, whatever, if everybody involved, including them, mm-hmm. you know, help them step back, then maybe in years to come, they can revisit security. Maybe they won't need it as badly at some right. point, right? right. It, saying that you need it now doesn't mean that you're committing to it for a lifetime. So right. like take right. it one year at a time. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'm looking for it, it right now. It just seems like Wimbledon things. Um, okay. So I don't like Kate in mint green. I don't think that's her oh. color. That's just me. Now no. I'm trying to figure. I saw this the other day. Yeah, I mean, like, so that's her um, Wimbledon. Yeah, it just says poor girl, but doesn't tell me what the heck she was crying about. What was she? Did her favorite player lose? Did right. That... <laughs> well, right. Yeah. yeah. No idea. Um, see if I can pull that up too, Kate cries at Wimbledon just see okay I'm looking at pictures where she's clapping Mm -hmm. so but Mm -mm. 
So when she's in the full, so her full outfit is not mint green. If you see a back a picture, she has kind of like a off white skirt or something. I uh, and so and then it oh, matches. So then it complements like goes with the buttons and the collar on her blazer. Yeah. So hold on. So we're looking at two different dresses. So oh, no, we are okay. Yes. And I did see that one. Um, yes, where she's wearing the the oh, colored I see. blazer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this other one is four days ago, and she seems to have on a black and purple, like uh, um, like a ribbon, like you know. Yeah, I see, uh huh. Yeah, I see it now. Okay, uh -huh. so what is? So she wore that color like <laughs> to Wimbledon a couple days in late, like. Yeah, they're calling it sunny yellow, and I don't see that yellow. Um, but um, yeah, I feel like I need a better a chartreuse. My mother would better, call that um, better picture. Yeah, chartreuse. Okay, so yeah, so we were looking at different pictures. You're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a picture where she's kind of standing up. I don't like the cut of it either, really. Um, like here, I'll let's see. Yeah, the peplum around my screen. Way. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah. totally forgot to hit record <laughs> so after I said I would. Oh no! <laughs> so oh, no. I think I think we're streaming over there. Okay. So can you see this? Where like you can at least see a little bit more of it. I can. Yes. 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 So it's, I, yes. it's another one of those crinkle skirts, like her white one with the green. Yes. Where I don't green. like this short sleeve cut and like the fat. I don't know. It's too stiff. Like, I don't know. Well, see, I, I, you know, that's where, see, I, there's the whole thing there too. I don't know if you can see that. It might appear white. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's the whole thing? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so, I'm, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see another one now. Like, the skirt's pretty. The top is just a little too boxy. Mm-hmm. Because that kind of skirt looks good with the long sleeve blazer. Right. Yeah. But, you know, they don't call and ask us before they put these things on. They don't. They don't. <laughs> and you know what? I thought these were from, so this is from last, have fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought these were last year's looks, not oh. necessarily. I know the yellow was last year. Mm -hmm. Not sure about the blue. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, yes. Yeah. I, sometimes I think her style is a little stiff. I, I love seeing her in pants. It's so much more business. I think she and um, Will, and I think I've said this before, are trying very hard to be more, so much more of a modern working right. couple, modern family kind of thing. So. Right, right. Well, and I feel like she's still like to a certain degree, like her stuff, again, it has to be sort of stiff. Yes, <laughs> like, I, I, right? I do. Yes, exactly. But it can be, but it can be stiff and still flattering. <laughs> that, yeah. I feel like that one wasn't flattering. <laughs> it's Sometimes very distracting. Like, yes, exactly. That there could be fun. Mm -hmm. this. You've got all the money. I shouldn't say that. Is that wrong for me to say you got all the money in the world? But sure. um, and you know the disposal of all these fashion designers. And mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like, where's where's the real flair? Sometimes I look at her outfits and go, well, that might be something my mother would have worn. But you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, I know. Oh well. But it I don't. I, yeah. Go ahead, please. Oh, I was gonna say it would be interesting because, like, I'm looking at some of the pictures where they're older, like back when Megan was with them and stuff at, at Wimbledon, and it's like, uh, I was thinking how it would be interesting if Megan and Harry had stayed in long enough to, for us to get more pictures over the years of all of them. Yes. Just as I felt like uh, Megan always keeps everything so bland, like it's just like white neutrals, like very- Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, I, I agree with that. And and what I find funny is because in the documentary in their docu-series, mm -hmm. she talks about how um, she was told that she had to have muted colors. Mm -hmm. And you know, in that last week she was coming out in her teal and her green and her red. Oh, right. But you don't see that in her everyday translation of anything, you know, right. um, which is, I, I find that interesting too. So that's true. Yeah. It just feels very, uh, I don't know, California or whatever. It does. It yeah. does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
and she's always impeccably dressed. I'm, I can't argue. Oh yeah, that. she looks. Yeah, I was like, it all is great fashion, and she always looks great. And it's yeah. just still like, yeah. But you know, obviously, I'm a person who likes color. <laughs> so yeah. if you're yeah. if you're never gonna wear color, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have a problem with it. <laughs> well, I'm looking through here for anything on like Princess Anne. Um, it just seems to be. I mean, are they all off of Balmoral or something? If they're not, oh, it is summer. Okay, okay, yeah, they Sandringham or something like that. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Let's see, Royal so. Summer Film. Do, 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 do. Balmoral, Scotland. It's their summer residence, or at least it was the Queen's. Right, and that's I don't know if that continues if or not. They still do it. Right. But um, let's see. So I have, oh wait, no, okay. I was gonna drink. I'm almost done with my yellow tea. And I was like, I'll go back for some green, some green tea. Yeah, it hit the spot. I've, I've been mm -hmm. like longing for tea this afternoon. So that was very nice. Mm -hmm. Now I'm liking the green ginger again. <laughs> it's just like whatever I'm currently drinking. It was all the, very good. Is the winner. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness, but sorry. I for no, you're radio. fine. You're no, I was I was gonna see. I'm like, let's see. Do I have any Piper stories? Well, <laughs> one thing is funny. Um, so I, I've talked about it with you in the tea time and whatever that like my house I don't want to stunt Piper's comedic journey so like she everything's fair game when it comes to jokes right but she knows it's only around mom at home not at school not in public with mom okay <laughs> and not not with not with Emmy and daddy right <laughs> so it's like you know potty humor whatever like uh saying dumb dumb like stuff like that right, right. so um and never calling anyone that it's just like being silly right so the other day she was talking she was on facetime and it with dave and shebnam were on it with us and uh she was trying to tell some story and she was like and a freaking witch <laughs> like talking about like a spooky witch or whatever right she said it so fast that like i only kind of and they're like Hey Piper, what word did you just say? And she kind of like got freaked out. And they're like, if you said freaking, we don't use that, you know, we don't use that word or whatever. So then later when I got off the phone, uh, she's like, what, you know, like kind of why can't I? I was like, well, I said, I go, where did I, I said, where did you hear that word? Like, where'd you learn it? You know? And she goes, I don't know. Words just come into my head. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's great. <laughs> So now, so that is one of the fair game words, but what she told me is what she thinks freaking means is like really, really mean, basically. So okay. it's like an, like a mean witch. So she's a freaking witch. <laughs> <laughs> so then the other night she was like making up ghost stories, like a little like flashlight in her face. <laughs> she's right. like once there were these deep dark woods she goes and there was a freaking house because <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that's what it means yeah, i was like i just love that it's just yeah that the well, word is true freaking. i mean if she if she's using it in the terms of freaky then yeah, I yeah that's true right 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 yeah yeah but right. i just yeah i'm like i don't i was like i don't care she just keep keep using that word because it's hilarious because she never says freaking there's never a g at the end it's right <laughs> so i'm like when I was younger, that. and I was always trying to shield them from four little words and things like that. And I will never forget when Stephen was very literal, very little, and he said something like, you know, came home and he said, so and so got in trouble today at school because he used the S word. And I was like, oh, God, why do we have to talk like that? And I said, well, what word are you talking about? And he says, you know, the one with S H. And I said, okay. And he said, you know, shut up 
<laughs> so I was like, oh, I, and, and I have to teach that to a little one, by the way, they're just walking in from the pool. Oh, oh so okay. get, and, and we're going to get photobombed by a little wet child here. Yay. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Hi, Jackie. Oh, good. Good. Oh, that's a cute swimsuit. Isn't it cute? Her that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> What? Oh, the costume is already here. Her costume is already here. We were just talking about it. Did oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> She's so excited. That's awesome. She's so excited. Um, yeah, and there was the other one, which was, um, so I grew up where, you know, we, we weren't allowed to say fart. And I still prefer my kids not use that word. Sure. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But that was another one where Stephen was like, so, you know, something about the F word. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, so the F word, he goes, you know, and I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. All right. No worries. You know, I, I'm like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll ease up on that one. <laughs> right, right. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'd rather use that use one. That go, one. Yeah. Yeah. If we're going to go with an F word. I can choose my battle. That's hilarious. Yeah. Sure. Piper, yeah. Piper does. Yeah. Say fart a lot now. And it used to be like just two or whatever. And we didn't talk about it a lot. Now uh -huh. she thinks it's hilarious yeah. and it's talked about a lot, but what's great is like, for a while, she was like talking about like uh, she'd like get all crazy. She's like, "I'm gonna bust out all over the world." I was like, "What?" She's like, "I'm gonna bust out." I was like, bust. "She's like, I'm busting around the world." I was like, "What?" She had to like bust. Apparently, busting, busting around the world is like fighting so big that it's like you just like shoot across. <laughs> Do you have a book? You, so I have a book. Oh, there. yeah. I, the funny things down that they would say. I should. I do have one. I don't fill it out, but I will say Shemnam keeps a note thing on her phone of what they call piperisms. <laughs> so she keeps track. That's awesome. That's so, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I'll have to. Yeah, I was like, I, I need to have my own though, because I have like, you know, the things she's only allowed to say here. <laughs> Uh, yes, so. right, right. Hold, hold on, I, I still have a young child in the room, though. <laughs> but go, okay, go get your PJs on, because that's what we do in the summer. We go to the pool, we come home, we put pajamas on. Oh, nice. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's great. So, yeah, I got Piper an uh, inflatable pool thing this summer. Fun. So, uh, and that has been an adventure in itself, because I got one that I was like, I want to big enough that like we both can get in it it's like deep enough she can swim right. under whatever right right but I don't have a huge backyard and uh the first one I got seemed great but then when I realized I should probably have some kind of small pool pump well it didn't have the hookups for that so like within a week and a half the water like it's just turning green <laughs> so like, yeah great. so emptied it out and uh tried to clean out and they're just like this is just gross so anyway i got that at walmart and i talked with the walmart chat lady or whatever and she acted like yeah i can return it to any store as like even though i don't even have the box anymore it's been like yeah that's fine they take it so they did i got my money back yeah the guy was like you know i brought it in a different box and like he's just like taped it up with the stuff on it he's like yeah we just sent it back to the manufacturer like <laughs> i was like okay oh, goodness. so they i guess they just have to deal with it because it's their fault that they made right. that kind of a pool without the necessary functions but so i got a different one then that does have a little pool pump and works out much better um but you know i don't like to do things properly if they take too long <laughs> so, meaning when they stress that you should have it on level ground <laughs> i'm like mm. i'll make it work yeah yeah it's like it's like when i'm like hanging pictures and doing stuff it's like i'm gonna eyeball it and then i'll use a level to just like go like this but i'm like sure. not using a tape measure to do proper things so uh yeah so when it came to like having a level ground for the pool i was like hmm <laughs> this looks pretty good. <laughs> so then as it, fill, it fills up and like, clearly it's like the side away from the house is the one that it's like, you know, going down or, so it's like filling up high on that edge, right? not as high as the one towards the house. Of course. I'm like, oh, it'll be all right. <laughs> and so Piper and her friend were swimming in it the first time and all of a sudden it like the 
top floaty part like just bent enough that water just like gushing out that yeah. side oh my gosh <laughs> so they're like screaming i mean i was right there so i went over to, to like try to push it up and and then uh so i thought it was fine it's like just stop pushing against the side right like let's swim on this part of the pool guys because this is how mom sets up pools <laughs> so it's a day of fun it's a day yeah, of fun. right and so then uh <laughs> so then uh i filled up you know and i got this time i got a pool cover for it because that's part of it because it's like you know the algae here it's just like everything turns green oh like, sure an absolutely instant. But I can treat it now with chemicals because I have the pool filter. The oh, circulation. good, good, okay. So yeah. like, that's all fine. But so I came home, like, I don't know, after like that was a Sunday or something or weekend that I set it up, we had all the fun and then like went to work Monday. And then I like came home Monday night and I look out and it's empty. <laughs> and, like at some point that wall gave in and no one was there to stop it. So the whole thing, poured into the yard i was like oh no and, and you think it's because there's too much pressure on the yeah, uh, yeah and so uh so then i'm like hmm. so then i'm trying to like figure out how do i fix this amy problem but fix it the amy way <laughs> like, so, i'm like if only i had like like a sh like so it's on top of like rubber like the rebel rubber mulch stuff or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and so but a lot of it washed out into the yard. So it's like, so it's like I needed a rake to get it back out of the yard. I don't have a rake. And then I was like, I need a shovel to like pile stuff under that part so that yes. it raises uh -huh. up, right? Up. Well, I don't have that either. So it's like, all right. So I like order them. Um, uh, actually, Walmart had the best and they like delivered it the next day or whatever. So I came home to a shovel and a rake sitting on my front porch <laughs> so so you're uh, actually trying to level yeah but it's not like i'm redoing it completely like i'm not undoing it and making the whole ground level i'm trying to like wedge it up <laughs> so that it's just enough just enough to, to give that support, support. yeah so <laughs> so far knock on wood it's been like a, over a week or whatever so far that has worked oh so, well, that's good <laughs> yeah but i'm not just... sure walmart's gonna take it back at this point now too you know i mean they don't know what i do <laughs> yeah. Listen, i mean and there are stores that are like that i used to work for jc penny and um i worked in the lingerie department and mm -hmm. these ladies would come up and sometimes they would just come like in their 60s do you still carry this bra <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. And and she's like, well, because the back, the tag is so faded. I'm like, uh, yeah, it's probably time for a new one. Right, um, right. There were these other ladies that would come in. I remember one specifically, she came in and she got it in a bag. And I'm pretty sure the bra used to be white. <laughs> and it's kind of like an ecru tan gray kind of thing. Right, right. It's and like, you can see where the elastic has been pulled. Oh my and, gosh. And the tag on the back is frayed and faded and you can't see it. And she said, right. This bra did not last as long as it should have. And I'm like, I was what, 18 years old, right. 19? And I'm like, I don't know how to handle this. And I said, well, that doesn't look like a bra we carry anymore. And she said, well, it should be because I didn't buy it that long ago. It should have lasted longer than a couple of years. What? what, what? Um, and, and being yeah. in Florida when you sweat and everything like that, and you're not supposed to, you know, easily yeah. really not supposed to put your undergarments in the dryer because of all the elastic in oh, it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So I get my manager and my manager said, absolutely, please go find a bra here. That fit. And that infuriated me, but <laughs> they were like, we'd rather she be in our store mm -hmm. with our customer service that hopefully she spends her money here. Right. I'm thinking, but you, you just lost money on that, you know? Right, right. So. That's, well, and it's just like, I feel like, I mean, I guess her whole point was that it didn't last as long as it should, but I was like, if your bra looks like that, don't take it out and show it in public. <laughs> like, that's like, for you to keep at home. <laughs> yes, I, would, I would have been embarrassed. I was yeah, that's your, that's your secret. <laughs> well, or they, come in and ask for a refund or an exchange. That was really gutsy, so. Right. So yeah. there's a comedian I really like now. I think her name's Eliza Schles 
Schlesinger or something. Okay. Uh -huh. um, but in one of her newer standups, I want, I don't remember all, I've only seen it once, so I don't remember all of it, but it, it's a really funny bit about um, how everyone has that one bra that like has been through it all with you. <laughs> like, and it's like, she said, when you go to bed at night, it's hanging on the back of your door and it's like, please just let me die. <laughs> Like, no, <laughs> we're going back out there again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I, my, mine is not, it's not bad. It's, it's a pair of pajama pants. In fact, I pulled them out again the other day and I looked at Jose because it's the elastic. It's the, uh -huh. elastic but the elastic's really gone. And they were almost like yoga pants, but I was like, like you know, I got these when Stephen was a baby. Stephen is going to be 22 in September. <laughs> and I'm like, I still have these and they're, they're getting pretty thin. Yeah. So comfortable, you know? Right, right. And so I, yeah, so I still hold on to them. So that's great. That's so I hard. am going to have to yes, scoot here pretty soon. Sure. But I, um, I am, if anybody, as if anybody in the area is watching, but if they do, I'm sure. doing um, uh, the uh, tea and talk again oh, yeah. at the local museum. Um, the museum's namesake, Lucy Burns, who was mm -hmm. a suffragist, um, her birthday is July. July. Yeah, what month are we in? Check your cup. It's July. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, oh, it's my other cup. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> no, well, her birthday is July 28, which is a Friday. So we're holding a birthday tea on July 29. So I nice. will go and um, give my um, suffragist and tea talk. Um, and hopefully if it's, you know, does well, that they'll ask me to come back in the fall. Fingers crossed. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and you? Uh, for me, uh, like what tea stuff or what yeah. am I doing? <laughs> okay. It's like, I mean, I'm doing Friday Zoom tea times uh, still. And then uh, I'm actually having my uh, BNI bestie, uh, Kay Stelling, review my website uh, to see, because she's a website designer, to see yeah. if there's any sprucing up that would help you know, sales and whatever, because she knows uh -huh. I don't have a lot of time to do much. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, so she, she sets up stores for other people and then she can easily update things. So it's like okay. new product or whatever, because right. I have trouble keeping up with like what things I have or can get, you know, so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so there's that. Um, and I have had people ask me I had like a random text and someone else asked me for someone else about like do I still do tea parties and I was just like well I said well I do tea party consultation I said I I rent out China and I'll tell you how to do it and then I, but most people like oh we were kind of hoping for more of like a turnkey service yeah. I was like yep sorry you're too late yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm like, not exactly. doing that anymore <laughs> Well, so I did a, um, gosh, when it was right at the start of the summer, um, did the same thing where I rented, um, I was supposed to be at the party and I was going to administer the game and the talk and everything. Right. Um, and I had to fly to Tennessee for Memorial. So it ended up being where I rented my tea things to her um, consult, tell her how oh, yeah, yeah. whatever. Um, the pictures that she sent me were stunning. I mean, really, they, oh. really what they did was gorgeous. And I told her, so when, when we met back up for me to collect my things again, um, I said, girlfriend, I said, I need to hire you. I said, and she said, well, that's what my family does. She said, so that they, they bake, they make the macarons, they do this. They oh do my gosh. This. But we just, we don't know the ins and outs of a traditional tea. Huh. So I was just like, wow. I mean, like, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that would be a interesting partnership if anybody if they ever wanted to offer that service you, right. know, you know they do the food and I bring the tea that's so, cool you know hit her up in nice a couple of months and see. How, um, how how did she find you or how did you guys know each other before that question. um I think my information was still out on um the knot okay and it okay. should be because I'm not paying for that service anymore <laughs> um but some she did some fishing and she found yeah, it yeah Oh, cool. um, and she, it's so funny. She called me like the day after I updated my website oh, nice. to say that this is, you know, I'm not, I don't bring the oh, food. Right, right. And she said, that's fine because we want to do all the food anyway. So oh, um, perfect. Yeah. So well, that's cool. Yeah, it was, it was good. They, and they did like they had purple, sage green and white 
macarons and they were they were oh. beautiful and i'm like what were the flavors and she yeah. said we did it was blackberry vanilla and pistachio oh wow and, this sounds um, pretty yeah and then the flowers that they had were like the purple white and green and things like that it was yeah, beautiful. yeah. it was they, they really swelled out so yeah that's awesome yeah so what i'd like to do is mm -hmm. text you later and see if there is a date yes. that we can squeeze in in august or yes. possibly early september something like that yes um and uh, my turn to send. And I've got a couple things yes. here. I have okay. a raspberry white chocolate tea from mm. France that my Ooh. son's girlfriend gave me. Fancy. Um, a, an apricot, gosh, what was it? Apricot cinnamon, apricot something. It's very oh. good. So anyway, and I'll, then I'll drum up a third one. Okay, beautiful. Right so yeah, and then hopefully there's something going on across the pond that we can talk about. This is yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like I'm trying to think. I'm like, we haven't. Any, I feel like there for a while. There's just like so much to talk about. And it's like, very true. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I need to post that picture and that write up. And like I said, on your on your Instagram or your Facebook. Yes. Page yeah. 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 Do that. Yeah. Because so even me cool. look at yeah. It's like because even you know a lot of times people say you look like someone. You're like, uh, yeah. but it's not. But like even me looking at it, I'm just like, is my face photoshopped? Like, <laughs> my face on your face <laughs> i know and the pink and the shoes were so cute yeah everything. yeah i know i was like yeah. that's so yeah it was lovely. perfect it was lovely so yeah let's see how many people we fool people come on. Like, yeah 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 <laughs> right and it's like and in my classic response time i probably just won't say anything <laughs> so they can just keep on believing it <laughs> just do the emoji that goes right yeah i should <laughs> or Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. All right, girl. Well, it was good okay. to talk to you. Yep. Thank good you to talk to you too. They were great. Loved them. Yes, you're welcome. And so right. until until next time. Absolutely. Look <laughs> for my bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.